Hello guys, in this video, we are going to go over the fork technologies that compose SD1 or software design WAN. Um, the first one is the orchestrator, um, which is also called the VBAN, and it is a virtual entity, and it can reside on premise or the cloud, this device right here. Then we have the, um, the vManage, and the vManage or the, the management system um, is a virtual entity, and it can also reside on premise or the cloud. Um, then we have the vSmart, which is a control plane, and this one can, um, it's a virtual entity, and it can reside on premise or also the cloud. Then we have the VEdge, and the, the VEdge can, this could be a physical, or it can also reside on Google Cloud, AWS, or Azure. So the first step that needs to happen for the VEdge to uh, connect to any of these um, virtual entities um, is that it's going to call to really call home to the VBAN to identify itself either via the internet or MPLS. Uh, in this communication, it will be a TLS connection. Uh, the VBAN will look at any route and will act as the gatekeeper of the network, and it will ensure that the edge router is a legitimate router by using digital certificate to allow to enter the network. And that is basically the role of the VBAN orchestrator is to verify um, where the edge is coming from and also verify its identity via digital, digital certificate. And this one is going to be formed basically um, via TLS. So let's go ahead and form. We are going to mark it. So it is going to be either via the internet that is going to form that connection to Vivant or either via the um, MPLS. So let's go ahead and do that via MPLS. There we go. So that's the first step that needs to happen. After that, you know, at this point, the edge router is able to enter the network because it has um, identified itself via the VBAN and the VBAN has said that this is a router that needs to enter the, uh, that is allowed to enter the network. But at this point, the edge, any of this edge router do not have any, um, do not have any full configuration. It does not know what VLAN interface or routing protocol to use. Um, and this management interface is a technology that lets you push configuration to all the edge router connected to the dashboard, um, which is DNA center. So the vManage is basically DNA, DNA center, and it is an encrypted channel that is formed with the edge router that has been authenticated with the vBAN. So also let's go ahead and do, because we have another edge router over here, and this one is going to be connected to, to the vBAN. Let's go ahead and do it over here like this. There we go. So now that the, the, the two are pointing to the VBAN, now we need to go ahead and point to the vManage because the vManage, it is going to, after it is identified or authenticated with the VBAN and the VBAN allows them to enter the network, that is now going to allow them to communicate with the vManage. And this one is going to be a TLS connection, um, just like the VBAN has a TLS connection that is going to have a TLS connection with the vManage. Okay, and the vManage is basically the DNA center. Okay, so at this point, um, the router has been identified with vBAN and has been authenticated with vBAN and we allowed access to the network. And it also has received all the configuration for the vManage or DNA center. Now the uh, edge router, this edge router is right here, um, needs to get policy and routing up and routing updates and the vSmart sends all the information to the vEdge to create the fabric, the overlay fabric, either IPsec routing or either policy. And the first step is that the edge device builds a encrypted channel v with the vSmart, um, which is a TLS connection as well. Um, inside the secure channel, um, we are going to run the OMP or overlay management protocol OMP 
and is the routing protocol responsible for establishing and maintaining the control plane between the edge device and the VSmart to create the fabric. Um, so, the um, so what does the V what does the edge device sense? It sends all connection it has. Um, if it has an internet connection, if it has a LAN connection, right over here. If it has a local area network, if it has MPLS, VPN, or VRF, and this is all, this is to maintain the segmentation, and also all the connection it has with other devices. So now we are going to form a connection with the VSmart, right? And um, this will also happen on the other side so we are going to have both connection on both sides because they're both um, routers edge routers that have been authenticated with vbon and they have been identified with vbon then we'll go into the management to the management to the vmanage and this manage is going to send all the configurations um, to the v edge and then after that we are going to get the policies and routing updates from the um, from the vsmart and now that the controller has full information of all the attributes, because the VH sends all the information to the VSmart, it will propagate the information using the OMP protocol. And after the VSmart has all the information, it's going to form a side-to-side -side VPN connection between the two edge devices. So these two edge devices right here are going to form basically a side-to-side um, -side VPN um, connection and this one is going to happen either <clears throat> through the internet or MPLS and this will give us the ability to build a large-scale network and the VSmart becomes the policy enforcement point at this point so all the policies that we need to that, that we need to get are going to come from the VSmart and all the management right all the all, all the all the configuration is going to come from the vManage and the VBAN is the one that is going to um, to authenticate or identify those V edge router. So this is it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video on the SD WAN. And if you guys enjoy this video, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA Daily Tips. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next one. I love you guys.